Hello everyone, welcome back to Jigajack Plays and to Game Dev Tycoon. So, um, yeah, the first episode's audio was a little bit, uh, weirdly mixed. Uh, I've never really re recorded, uh, in OBS, uh, because my computer actually, uh, sucks at re uh, recording because it's not a game computer. It's actually doing, uh, really well right now, which is great, um, but it cannot record Minecraft, like, at all. Um, but I usually, uh, record in, uh, Audacity, but, uh, this time I decided to record it in OBS, so you have to, like, mix things in OBS, and you have to go to the game and all that stuff. It might be better now, I'm not entirely sure. I did turn the game sounds down. Uh, my mic is very, uh, quiet, it might be louder now, but I can probably turn this up to about right there. And that should be good, maybe. So let's develop a new game. Uh, what should we do? Let's do Mad Science. Younger, what would it be, action or simulation? Hmm. What would it be? Maybe a simulation. And uh, we'll put it on the test, why not? With the good engine, Dr. Science. We want them good graphics, yo. Oh yeah, we got like a microwave over there and stuff. Right there. Got a nice, uh, water cooler. I forget what they're called. Got a little meeting area. It's pretty sick. This office is awesome. Uh, I haven't hired anybody yet, but I will eventually. Ooh, new research available. Casual games. Okay. Also, sorry if you hear a noise in the background, that is my air conditioner. It's actually pretty loud. Recent market data shows that the... What, what is it called? Govador, I don't know, G64, seems to be slowly losing market share against the other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Okay. Wow, Dr. Science is actually doing pretty good. Oh wow, okay, that's pretty good. Ooh, new record. Nice. Release game. New research available, better user experience, and level editor. Okay, that's pretty cool. What are the reviews? Oh. Oh. Oh, new. Uninspiring. Wow. That is funny. Okay, that, that was a bad game. That was a really bad game. Uh, ooh, farming. That's a good... I'm just going to go ahead and get farming because everybody loves farming simulators. Today, Nivento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. The device comes with trainable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Gameling is un underpowered by given the lower cost and excellent portability it might find a huge following the gambling is said to hit shelves next month okay that's pretty good so we might actually wait on the farming simulator game until the gambling comes out so we'll research a new topic and uh get mythology Okie dokie. Let's make a mythology game. Would that be marketed towards more of the... Like, mature audience? Ugh, man, I don't know. What would it be? It's probably really good for adventure. I'll just do RPG, because that's actually a good combo, so... Uh, let's see, we'll put it on the PC. 
Uh, what should we call it? Nice. Oh, okay, it's actually different. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's more story-based. There we go. Today, the new game platform, GameLink, has... Jeez, by Nintendo, has been released. Do I have, like, dyslexia or something? I don't know. I can't read fast. Maybe I'm just nervous. That's probably it. Ooh. Difference. Nice. It's off the market. It made money. Nice. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. <laughs> Good game. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Give interview. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. Okie dokie, dude. Uh, okay, world design, yes. Because it's going to be open world, obviously. Planet GG has recently published an interview with GGJ Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Jagger, owner of the CEO of GGJ Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games will mature, with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Well, God of War did pretty good. Assassin's Creed did pretty good. Those are mature games, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, Resident Evil. Or well, those rated teen. I don't know. Ooh. Nice. New record. Release game. I thought it said better dialogues. <laughs> no, it's better dialogues. Hmm. Let's do better user experience. And then we can make the farming simulator game. With a growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Marketing. That's actually pretty good. Do they like Thor, God of Thunder? Why? Falls a bit short. I like it. Has its moments. And have seen better. Okay. Okay. Uh, how could you not like a game that is open world when you play as Thor, God of Thunder, and you have a hammer and you can strike your enemies with thunder? How could you not like that game? Hello? Develop new game. I forget what I was doing. Okay, uh, no, not vocabulary. Where's farming? Oh, it's at the bottom. The gameling. It's for everyone, I suppose. We'll name it Harvest Sun. <laughs> uh, simulation. Great combo. I am aware of that. It is one of the greatest combos ever. Because you got, like, first of all, you've got Harvest Moon, and then you got Story of Seasons, and then you have Stardew Valley, bro. Also, Minecraft, like I said, can, is in that category, kind of. Oh man, there's this one uh, farming simulator game coming out. It's called Coral Island. It looks awesome. I don't know when it's coming out, but I want to get that so badly. It looks. Amazing. You can go underwater and stuff, and I think there's like a mermaid or something. It was awesome. Okay. Okay, Harvest Sun is doing pretty good. Ooh, Vina, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vina Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link from Nintendo. A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. Vena Gear also has a full color screen. Will this, will this device topple the gaming? We will see. The Vena Gear will... What? What is that word? 
debut in two months. Wow, I was just like, de debut? What is the word? Um, I think it's uh, funny. Uh, actually, I don't really know like the full history behind all this stuff, but I think like the master being that thing that is going to come out like the people made is like, oh, it's going to be way better than Nintendo, and like Nintendo just outsold them. Like, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Simple cutscenes. Nice. Okay, we need to we need to start generating some game reports, man. Okay, let's see. Do people like this? Okay. We got Ooh. We got a seven now. Okay. That's actually a pretty good rating. Alright. But how could you like that more than being Thor? Yeah, the Vena gear, whatever. I don't care. I want to play some Mario. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Okay. Let's do Dr. Science. That one did way worse than Har Harvest Sun. Mad science and simulation is a good combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Okie dokie. Let's do another one. Give me them research points. Uh, gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Yes, very important. Okay. Excuse me. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta train myself to get staff management. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's off the market. Uh, that'll be taken off the market. Because PC is better. People like PC more. I wonder what would happen if... The people who made those things that just kind of like crashed and burned, if they brought them back, I wonder if they would do a lot better than they did before. Well done, you successfully completed your management course and you are now able to hire your very first employee. To get started, close this message and then click the fill position button, which is visible near the big desk. Okay. How much money do I have? I can put $2 million in that, but I'm not going to do that. I usually try to go to like. 5k wait budget is that how much you're getting paid I never even thought of that no wonder I go bankrupt so much I should only get like a hundred K right 20k I'd probably get worse people that way wouldn't I uh, let's see I'll, I'll do a hundred hundred K and we'll do complex algorithms you can have up to four people. You might be able to get more than that later on. Ooh, okay. Yep, file bankruptcy. Do, 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 yeah, okay. So basically the PC did better. Okay, so we got Antonio Dean. He's got really good technology. He's got only 100 speed. 16k per month of research is all right. Level two. Jeez, I don't want I don't want Beatrice Martin. She doesn't have that much design. Okay. Brody Manson. <laughs> I don't think I want Brody Manson on my team. I want Antonio. Antonio. Medium games. Ooh, nice. That's good. Okay, so we got him now. Okay, you do a little research. We need a new topic. Romance. Okay. And uh, I'll also research a new topic. To get government. Oh, goodness. No. Not government. 
64 is no longer supported, you've released two games for the platform and earned a total of 287.2k. Okay. How many have us sold for the PC? Like four? Can't I check that somehow? No. Okay, I'll, I'll save. Completed government. Completed romance. I prefer a romance over government. Romance simulation. Pick platform will do PC. It's a dating simulator on the PC. And it's mature. Actually, no. Let's do everyone. My true love. Yeah, we want them graphics, man. We want them features to look realistic. Yes. Why do you need game tutorials for a dating simulator? Because it's open world now. <laughs> Uh, okay. Barely any dialogues? Are you serious? Most dating simulators have just a heck a ton of dialogue. It's like, no action, just dialogue. It's doing very well, though. That'd be funny if this was the best game I've made in this playthrough. So far, just a perfect 10. Ooh, open world. 2D graphics version 3 and 3D graphics version 1. Okay, let's get another person. Do 100k and some will do game demo. Reviews. Can't wait for the sequel. Okay, they want a sequel, so I guess I have to give them a sequel. Simulation games work well on PC. Yep, good game. Thank you. And beautiful, yes. Love is very beautiful. Oh, it sold a good bit. Oh, Ricky... Rartle? Rartle? Ricky Rartle? Rartle? Okay, he's got really good design. He does not have that much good design. 241. Okay, how much did the other one? 259, though. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh... Oh, 19k. They're, oh, they're 22k. Nope. Yes, Ricky. Hey, boy, you look like a game developer. Alright. Develop new game. Pick topic. What do you want to do? I guess we'll... Deep government, mature genre simulation on the PC. We'll just name it government. Version 2 graphics. Okay. I should save. Hey, look, it's me right there. Right there. Oh, really? Okay. Basic sounds. No, you gotta have that mono sound for government. Hi again, I heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list, so if you are looking for some more, some, for some contract work, let me know. Jason. Medium sized contracts have been unlocked. Nice. And it's done. Release that game. And uh, let's see here. Let's get a new topic. Rhythm. That's pretty good. And you research. Hmm. Now let's get 3D graphics. 
What can I research? Casual games? Actually, no, let's do... Ooh, let's do open world. Actually, no, let's do medium games first. We'll do that first. Not fire. No, I don't want to fire him. <coughs> really? Okay, that's weird. Why are you more interested in government instead of being Thor, God of Thunder, who can destroy his enemies with literal might? Hi, Jagger. I have followed the progress of Jigga Games for a while, and it seems that with your recent expansion, you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. Oh, yeah. A publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Jasmine Droke. Fine publishing contract has been unlocked. It is accessible in the action menu. Cool. Generate game report. New generate game report. Ah. Vina has announced that they will release a new game in console in two months. The Vina Oasis comes with 16 bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Vina said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start, will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, the dialogue seem to be not important for this type of game, for some odd reason. Okay, research. Open world. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, let's see. Okay. So I think what we'll do is make a new game engine and then call it an episode. It's probably a shorter one, but that's fine. JJG Engine Doom. Create engine. Today, the new game platform, Vina Oasis by Vina, has been released. Your new game engine, JJG Engine 2, is now complete. Nice. Oh, I got 19 research points. Cool. All right, well... This is probably a shorter uh, episode, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having a blast with this game. It's really fun. Uh, so yeah, see you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and click the like button. Bye.